Hello and welcome to a cold but wonderfully bright autumn day here at the Deathlef showroom in Izni im Algoi in southern Germany. I have here in front of me the Deathlef Trend 7057 DBM integrated motorhome 740 centimeters in length and it looks as though it's just been out for a drive because it's still wet or maybe they give them a wash every day because every time I come in them they're really nice now this vehicle here is going to cost 80,000 euros and the reason I didn't show you the price is because I'm going to show it to you inside so let's have a look around first so we can see what the, it's got queen bed at the back gone up to its maximum height um shower on the uh, on the right toilet on the left fridge on the left kitchen on the right and i'm going to sit down in this seat here because here i've got the details is that coming out you, can you see that or do you want me to read it right so i'll tell you what i'll just show you the van i'll walk around the van with this in my hand how's that sound so the length 740 centimeters width 233 height 294 it offers almost 500 kilos of payload and a three and a half ton basis and this one here is on a uh, 120 horsepower fiat ducato uh right so the base price is uh 16 8, but this thing has got an engine upgrade which costs 3249 chassis packet family packet trend design packet and uh and the double bed up there and that double bed up there is costs 1029 and it's got an insulated wastewater tank which costs 166 so there's a quick look around the van so let's do a little bit more detail now note how high this bed is so that's its highest position that means there's going to be a lot of space in the garage we're not going to get into the garage because the garage is locked but uh, uh, we do get an idea of the size of the garage from the doors and indeed we can also get a good idea of the size of the garage by lifting this up like that and you can see inside the garage is absolutely enormous and uh right and also down there i know to see the um the fresh water tank so uh now often with queen bed layouts we can get drawers down here this uh version has opted instead to have this thing that lifts up and down um but with uh and giving more space in the garage so uh it depends what you really want doesn't it uh this bit here as well this is all part of the garage wardrobe here so the rest of it's pretty standard and obviously a bit of uh, storage up at the top here a bit of a ledge on that under here we can see you've got lights oh which reminds me i haven't turned the uh, 12 volt on so i'll go back and do that now when it's such a wonderful sunny day as today you think what's the point of turning on the 12 volt and uh right where's the 12 volt here sorry i didn't show you that there's the 12 volt there right so the 12 volts on now does that make any difference can you actually see the light i told you can a little bit so uh what i wanted to demonstrate was we've got lights up there which i think seem to have turned off rather than turned on oh i'll put the lights on there we go and that's your bedroom and that's the view down there now there's also skylight and here I'm going to close this across like that and that's how you that's your bedroom now there's a look around your bedroom with the doors closed 
Right, I've been asked in the past, is the bed comfortable? Well, that seems okay to me, but... When I was travelling around Europe as a student, I even slept outside in the pavement, so uh, I'm not the best of people to ask on something like that. What does this here do? Don't know. What is that? I thought it was a plug there. Anyway, so there's not a plug there, but there are four plugs in here somewhere. Right, you can close this here. See yourself in the mirror. Now, this is a demonstration of how cold it is, because normally I'm sort of dressed in t-shirt and shorts and sandals. Well, not today. Mind you, I haven't got my thermal underwear on yet, so it's not too bad. And, uh, you know, close this off here, like that. Now, 740 centimeters in length. Now, I suppose there is a bit of, that does give a bit of leeway to give you more space. Anyway, let's have a look in the shower. So it's, yeah, there's quite a lot of room here. Now, there's me in the shower. There we go. And look, we've also got this thing here. Vitally important thing to put your socks on after you wash them. That's assuming you do wash them. Because I was rather surprised when I did a video on how to do the laundry whilst living in a motorhome. Some of the responses I got from people who don't bother to do it. Right, I mentioned the plugs. Well, there's two here. And the other, and so that's a USB and a plug, and it should be in the kitchen as well, unless it's moved. Uh, light switch, yeah, well, it's moved. Uh, kitchen, three burners. So Deathlifts hasn't gone with the trend in most of their vans for the two burners for 2022. In most of their vans, note that our vans that has gone for the, 20, the 2022 look are only two burners. Um, actually, I have to say this by Deathlift standards of van. This is of this uh, standard. This is quite a basic kitchen. Really, so usually they're sort of kitchens that are a bit more on the elegant side. And there we go. Not much of a ledge there or no there. Alright, so which brings me into the living room as such. And now the put I put the chairs down specially because I wanted to demonstrate the bed. And now putting the chairs down, what you have to do is you've got uh this thing here which you move backwards and forwards, but I can't do it with one hand. I need two. But this, on the other hand, on the other hand, the one hand, on, on the one hand, I should say, really, uh, I can bring this down by a touch of the hand. Well, not a touch, but you know, it's easy. It comes down really easy. And that is what it looks like inside with the bed down. Note you do have to put the chairs down and uh, putting the chairs as far back as they'll go that I don't think that would work actually it might it might work but I don't think it would work uh, so uh, that's how to do it that's how the bed comes down and that's what the bed looks like and as far as this bed's concerned it comes with a net which is kept down there and is tied up to this bit here, which is, I suppose, to stop you falling out at night. But there's, there's so much of these nets now. I'm gonna stand a net in some which is high, but when you've got nets in really low beds, uh, maybe that's designed for children, the really low beds, I don't know. Or maybe people are frightened of falling out of bed. I've fallen out of bed three times in a death left van, but fortunately it wasn't from a height such as that. Good. Um, here's the fridge. Under the fridge, there's also a place to put your uh, food, I suppose. So you keep your food under the fridge. You can keep your shoes under that one there. Oh, oh stacks of space under that chair. And... Uh, more lights here, so what's that do, anything? Yes, that turns something on. And there's a plug, all right. Still got two plugs to find. 
yeah, well, they'll turn up, no doubt. So, wonderful big uh, skylight up there. And, uh, right, so, uh, let's come back to this thing here. Uh, 70, uh, sorry, 80,000 euros. Um, the Trend 7057 DBM. Now, I think I have filmed this in several occasions in the past, in previous years. Although, it's now getting to a stage where I can sort of tell the difference from one year to another. Although, I must point out, the differences are minor and they're usually in things like um, the way the upholstery is done and things of that nature, largely. But on that subject, please do look at the description which is above because in that I'm giving more detail so the, the things is I don't always remember everything right so here we've got this wider door doors have been widened in general I've uh, got a window in the door which I think is a really positive feature listen to the door opening only one lock and here We've got an insect net, which comes across, it's built into the frame of the motorhome, so that's quite uh, quite positive. Up here, we've got, there's your Truma Combi heating, we've got the 12 volts, so hey, I'll turn, actually, I'll press that and you see the lights go off. I've pressed that and the lights sh should have gone off. Why haven't the lights gone off? Right, because I don't... The fact that it's connected to the mains shouldn't have made a difference. Now, I do understand why they don't go off at trade fairs, but um, I'm surprised that they didn't go off here. Anyway, uh, there was probably an explanation to that. Oh, and we've got some storage here. What about the flat floor? Well, it's not flat, because there's a step there. And there's a step there. Let's come out. So there's the big door to the garage I mentioned earlier. I'm, I'm assuming that they... Well, that, that, that van has been washed, clearly. But do they wash them all every day? That is the question. I don't know what the answer is. Let's have a look at another trend model, which is this one here, the 6757 DBL. And uh, we'll, we'll go inside this. So this one is going to, it's a seven meter class, so 695 centimeters long, 233 wide, 294 high. Uh, again, about 500 kilos of uh, payload, and this thing here costs 75,653, base price 68,000. So it's it's very similar, uh, everything. Now, what this thing here though has got, which is a bit odd, is the ability to have. You've got this face to face, so the uh, uh, chairs on the side, but you can put this chair in here. And that will be forward facing. So there's a thing here that comes out and seems a lot of fiddle to me. But uh, I suppose there are people who want a forward facing um, in, in, uh, chairs when they move. There's the chair on the bed, which is up here. And in contrast to the uh, motorhome we just saw this has got a bed not a bed it's got a shower so that's a shower the bed's this thing here you sleep on and the shower is the thing you get washed in that's right and we've got a toilet over there now this is at its maximum position once more the bed will go down as it will go down in the other one as well but that will give you less room in the garage uh Thing is there isn't a huge amount of space as you come round and the problem with this here is this toilet because there you can see where the uh, you can see where the toilet goes to now I'm going to put this right the way around there like that oh I'm going to close this as well just to give you an idea 
uh, you're not really get much of an idea. There you are. I don't know if you can see this actually. I'm gonna have to. Ooh, I'm gonna have to put this thing up here and show you the 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 room for my feet. That's how much room I've got in here. Which and if this were closed as well properly, there you go. Close the whole thing up. It comes there. That goes across like that. You see, it's very very cramped in here. I I find this. Ooh. I mean. It's a good job there's that skylight otherwise uh, I think it's I think this is just too small I mean I'm not exactly super overweight or anything but I find that really squashed nor do I have problems with uh, claustrophobia for example so and what's happened here I can't get this thing it's, this thing here is not going all the way around Ah, you see why it's not going all the way around? Look, look at that, right? Put the seat up like that, which I can't stand trying to see it being up. But apart from that, look there. You see, it's buying it, it's so close, it's buying the toilet seat. So, so I think that that really needs uh, some thinking out in future editions of this vehicle. But if you're thinking of something like this, then uh, I can see I can see the attraction of it, but I think you know when you've got an extra bed up front. And you imagine people coming in here at night; it's going to wake everybody up. Uh, um, you know, I could I accept the fact that you know, shower you tend to use the shower in the morning and in the evening, for example. I don't think you tend to use the shower in the middle of the night. Or I knew someone used to use the shower in the middle of the night to warm myself up, but. Uh, uh, but most people don't do that. Uh, so, well, I think that's a bit of a problem with this vehicle. Anyway, if anybody's got any contrary opinions of Mr. Deathlefts is watching this, then uh, uh, do do let me know. Uh, Mr. Deathlefts would be now around 100 and, 110, 115, something like that. I can't quite remember when he was born. Uh, so we started this company 91 years ago. Um, kitchen here is, I think, a slight improvement on the other one. We've got three burners, uh, also three burners, but we've got, there's more space. There's more space in it. There's lots of space between there. And uh, also the, there you are, there's, the, there's two plugs. And there's the other one. And look up there as well. So, uh, if it were me, I like shorter vans, but I like the layout in there better. That one there is 45 centimeters longer, and so it's 45 centimeters more difficult to park. And uh, so, let me know what you think, though. Which one you prefer? In the comment section, which is uh, which is below, and the description is above. Oh, and there's the television, and there's the door. One lock only again in this, and I shall turn. Hey, I'll turn turn this off and open the door. So it's the same uh, large garage door. I think it's the same, what was it? No, this one here is bigger. So this is a shorter one. When you stand here though, you sort of, the more or less at the same position and as you walk forward, seeing the extra 40 centimeters, uh, 45 centimeters, it doesn't really appear to have extra 45. Anyway, that's, uh, that's my opinion on this uh, theme. So. Thanks very much for watching, and uh, this is Deathlifts. This is what they've got on, on display. And uh, we've also got uh, their rental place there, so if you know, always rent before you buy. And stacks in the rentals, more, more in the rental place than there is here. And there's a look around at what else we've got in here. This, this was the showroom, but the showroom, of, uh, uh, they've got stuff in the showroom as well, uh, but uh, 
no more space in the showroom and there's caravans here as well so if you're thinking of a deathless van well you can watch watch my channel but uh, or other people's channels as well there's other people doing the same thing as i do and uh, then what uh, suggest you do if you can either come here or, 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 or somewhere else you find where the mac rent partner is a horrible name of course for a, uh, a rental company but um you find out where the mac rent uh, partner is go to them and um uh rent rent the vehicle and then again and again and you do that before you buy it buying a new vehicle you want to buy one of these you're going to have to wait i even mean, doubt you're going to get it in the next 12 months very much doubt very much doubt you're getting to 2023 so thanks for watching and all the best from here in southern germany